faster mind. Good evening and welcome to the Manx Radio Folk Show with me, John Parker, playing you the best in folk and roots music from the Isle of Man and from all around the world. So if you missed last week's show, it wasn't actually broadcast on the radio because there was Guild coverage, but there was a podcast that was released and you can still get and download. That was a spring special with lots of fantastic music for the season and also featuring Dan Walsh, who played at the Institute on Sunday night. It was a fantastic gig. Everybody there had a wonderful time as we knew they would. One song left over from the spring selection is this one, The Birds in Spring by Emily Portman and Rob Harborum. One May morning early, I chanced for to roam and strolled through the field by the side of the grove. It was there I did hear the harmless but sad. And you never heard so sweet You never heard so sweet You never heard so sweet As the birds in the spring At the edge of A lovely stripped back version of that song, The Birds in the Spring, by Emily Portman and Rob Harborough. We're now going back to 1928, Oakland, California, and Harry McClintock and the tale of Jesse James. How the people held their breath when they heard of Jesse's death, wondered how he came to die. For the big reward, the little Robert Ford. Shot Jesse James on the sly It was Robert Ford, that dirty little coward I wonder how he does feel For he ate Jesse's bread and he slept in Jesse's bed Then he laid Jesse James in his grave Jesse leaves a wife that'll moan all her life The children that he left will pray For Bob Ford, the coward that shot Mr. Howard and laid Jesse James in his grave. Jesse was a man, a friend to the poor. He'd never see a man suffer pain. 
But with his brother Frank, he robbed the Springfield Bank and stopped the Glendale train. It was his brother Frank that robbed the Gallatin Bank and carried the money from the town. It was in this very place they had a little chase and they shot Captain Sheets to the ground. Jesse leaves a wife that'll moan all her life. The children that he left will pray. For Bob Ford, the coward that shot Mr. Howard and laid Jesse James in his grave. They went to the crossing not very far from there, and there they did the same. For the agent on his knees delivered up the keys to the outlaws, Frank and Jesse James. It was on a Saturday night, and Jesse was at home, talking with his family brave. Bob Ford came along like a thief in the night, and laid Jesse James in his grave. Oh, they laid poor Jesse in his grave, yes, Lord, they laid Jesse James in his grave. Oh, he took from the rich and he gave it to the poor, but they laid Jesse James in his grave. Jesse went to his rest with his hand on his breast. The devil will be upon his knee. He was born one day in the county of Clay and came from a solitary race. Now, men, when you go out into the West, Never be afraid to die. They had the law in their hands, but they didn't have the sand to take Jesse James alive. Jesse leaves a wife that'll mourn all her life. The children that he left will pray. For Bob Ford, the coward that shot Mr. Howard and laid Jesse James in his grave. Oh, they laid poor Jesse in his grave, yes, Lord. They laid Jesse James in his grave. Oh, he took from the rich and he gave it to the poor. But they laid Jesse James in his grave. Harry McClintock with Jesse James. Harry McClintock was born in 1882 and died in 1957. But I was reminded of that song particularly because I've been reading The Philosophy of Modern Song by Bob Dylan in which he writes essays about many songs across many different genres. It's quite a fascinating and poetic book. Bob Dylan's most recent album, Rough and Rowdy Ways, from 2020, was a fantastic album. I reckon it's one of his best albums ever. If you've not listened to it, do so. Here's a track from it where he looks back on the great bluesman Jimmy Reed. Goodbye, Jimmy Reed. I live on the streets after a saint Women in the churches Wear powder and paint Where the Jews and the Catholics And the Muslims all pray I can tell a product From a mile away Goodbye Jimmy Reed Jimmy Reed indeed Give me that old time religion It's just what I need For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory Go tell it on the mountain, go tell the real story Tell it in that straightforward puritanical tone In the mystic hours where the person's alone Goodbye, Jimmy Reed, Godspeed Thump on the Bible, I proclaim a creed Proud, never took off my shoes till I'm in the crowd. Goodbye, Jimmy Reed. Goodbye and good night. Put a jewel in your crowd and I'll put out the lights. They threw everything at me. 
Everything in a book I had nothing to fight with But a book shows up They had no pity They never lend a hand I can't sing a song That I don't understand Goodbye Jimmy Reed Goodbye good luck I can't play the record Cause my needle got stuck Transparent woman in a transparent dress Suits you well, I must confess I break open your grapes, I suck out the juice I need you, but my head needs a noose Goodbye, Jimmy Reed, goodbye and so long I thought I could resist her, but I was so wrong I'm just looking for the man Came to see where he's lying in this lost land Goodbye, Jimmy Reed And everything within you Can't you hear me calling from up down in Virginia? Tony Hewson has been pestering me to play something by NOS, that's G-N-O-S-S, the fantastic young band from Scotland. They brought out a new album last year called Stretching Skyward, and this track is Audrey's.
Well, as I said, the great Dan Walsh played at the Institute on Sunday night just gone, but two weeks before that we had Honey and the Bear performing there. What a lovely couple John and Lucy are. They travel to the island with their three-year-old daughter, Lucy's parents, all their instruments and equipment in a very small van. Quite an achievement. They went down an absolute storm at the Institute, and I'm sure we'll have them back next year. Here's a track of theirs, Make This Land Our Home, from their album of last year, Away Beyond the Fret. Now, over the last year or so, I've been scouring the internet and particularly Discogs to try and get copies of the early Chris Wood and Andy Cutting albums. They're not generally available anymore, and some of the early ones were only released on cassette. I managed to get hold of another one the other day called Lisa, and on it is one of my favourite songs, When First I Came to Caledonia. When first I came to Caledonia, I got started in number three, and I got lodging with Donald 
When first I came to Caledonia, I got started in number three, and I got no. Of course, most of the tracks on those early albums by Andy Cutting and Chris Wood are instrumentals, featuring Chris on fiddle and Andy on melodeon, of course. And I'll play you one of those from this 1992 album, Lisa, next week. Coming right up to date, the Kieran Ryan Band have a new album out called Occupational Hazards. Kieran has toured the world's stages for a decade, predominantly as a founding member of the world folk band Dallahan and a highly sought-after session musician. He's played a lot with our own McClear as well. He's quietly becoming recognised as one of the foremost tenor banjo players the UK has ever produced. He now brings his prolific writing and stage experience firmly to the front with his own all-original music, loosely grown out of the tradition of Irish music, with a nod towards the idioms of American folk music, rock and electronic dance music. From that album, this is State of the Art. Mm -hmm. 
Amazing tenor banjo playing and a really great groove there from the Kieran Ryan band. Next up, Sam Carter has a new single out. He's a singer-songwriter and great guitarist who is also a member of one of my favourite bands, False Lights. This is the title track of his upcoming new album. It's called Sights Beyond the Sky. to the side 
Here's a great version of the traditional song Lucy One by Frankie Archer from her Never So Red EP from last year. Lucy, she sits in her father's door, weeping and making and mourn. I and Kim, her brother dear, what ails the Lucy One? I ail, I ail, dear brother, she said. I'll tell you the reason for why There is a child between my sides Between you, dear brother, and I He is took 
fell Lucy's life and left her there to bleed. He has run down to the dock to board some to flee his face all white and ill with shock when he his mother did see what is the blood that stains your knife the one so fresh and raw oh that is the blood of my good greyhound for she would not run no more oh the greyhound's blood the blood of our Lucy. bumped into one of the island's great singer-songwriters on Saturday night, Jeff Jepson, and he told me he has a new single out. It's called I Still Want to Know What, and he sent me a copy. Thanks for that, Jeff. It's a great song, and here it is for the rest of you to enjoy. child I drew my world I still want to know what you found I burned my head I scarred my knee I still want to know what you found the secret kiss you ordered me I still want to know what you found you drew my world a lonely girl I still want to know what you found I can't remember when I said to you again
child, I knew my world. I still wanna know what you found. I turned my head, I learned to see. I still wanna know what you found. The secret life you showed to me. I still wanna know what you found. You knew my world, a lonely girl. I can't remember when I said to you again, I'm lonelier than you don't know. I'm a lonely one. I've been enjoying the album Young Tamlin's Away by Seb Stone, a young folk singer from the Peak District. Last week I played you the Whitby Lad, and here's another track, The Turfman from R.D. For the sake of health I took a walk one morning in the dawn I met a jolly turfman on the road as I went on And a friendly conversation came between this man and me And that's how I came acquainted with the turfman from R.D. We chatted very freely as we jogged along the road He said my ass is tired and I'd like to sell my load For I've had no refreshment since I left my home, you see And I'm tired out of travelling, says the turf man from R.D. I said to him, your cart is worn, your ass is very old It must be twenty summers since the day that he was foaled I remember well when he was born, September 43 And he canted from the midwife, says the turf man from R.D. And many's the time I've used the beast with this rough hazel rod Although I own I never did see poor Jack go on short The harness that is on his back it was made by Sam McGee And he's dead these two and twenty years as a turf man from R.D. He said to me, my cart is worn but it's tough old Irish wood It must have been in constant use since the time of Noah's flood the axle never wanted grease, but one year out of three, it's a real old carrick axle, says the turf man from R.D. Just then I heard a female voice that I knew very well, politely asking this poor old man his load of turf to sell. I shook the steady old hand of his and he bowed respectfully, and I hope to meet some future day with the turf man from R.D.
that was Seb Stone, and I'm looking forward to seeing him at Saltburn Folk Festival in August. Let's have a track by Martin Carthy and Dave Swarbrick. This is from Crown of Thorns, released in 1971, and it's the Leon Russellson song, Palaces of Gold. If the sons of company directors and the judges' private daughters had to go to school in a slum school, dumped by some joker in a dank back alley, had to herd into classrooms cramped with worry, with a view onto slag heaps and stagnant pools, had to crowd down corridors grey with age. In a crackpot concrete cage Buttons would be pressed Rules would be broken Strings would be pulled And magic was spoken Invisible things Says of God. If prime ministers and advertising executives. Personages and bank managers' wives had to live out their lives in dank rooms, blinded by smoke and the foul air of sewers, rot on the walls and rats in the cellars, in rows of dumb houses like mouldering tombs. Had to bring up their children and watch them grow In a wasteland of dead streets where nothing will grow Buttons would be pressed Rules would be broken Strings would be pulled And magic would spoken Fingers wouldn't mold palaces of gold. And now I'm not suggesting. There's any kind of a plot Everyone knows there's not But you unborn generations Might like to be warned That if you don't want to be buried alive By slaggies Pitfalls and damp balls And black traps and dead streets Arranged to be democratically warned Son of a company director Or a judge's fine and private daughter Buttons will be pressed Rules will be broken Strings will be pulled And magic words spoken
Music happening around the Isle of Man this week. Of course, there'll be the trad sessions at O'Donnell's on Wednesday night and at the Mitre in Ramsey on Friday night. I'm sure there'll be a Sunday lunchtime session as well. But as usual, I'm not quite sure where it is just yet. Look out on social media. If you want to get in touch and tell me about other music that's happening around the Isle of Man or request a track, just email me, folkshow at manxradio.com. We're going to finish with a Manx tune, Gemma's Nancy. And this is from the album that Culture Vanin have just re-released from 1986, recorded by John Kaneen, called Rink Again Vanin. Gemma's Nancy is a dance for two couples in a square formation, and it was collected by Mona Douglas. On this version, you'll hear Crystal Jerry on harp, whistle and vocal, Colin Jerry on vocal in pipes and sticks, Dave Spears on bazooki mandolin, Dave Fisher on flute, baran and vocals, John Collar on baran, Sharon Collar on flute and whistle, and Annie Kizik on whistle and vocals. And it was recorded, as I say, in 1986 by our friend John Kaneen. I'll be back next week to play more folk and roots music from the Alaman and from all around the world. I'll see you then.